Hi everyone. Hello. Then this is the helmet done. You see. Uh, right now, oh, let me just remove it. As you can see, this is totally wearable. Um, this is uh, the painting job done, and as you can see. Uh, it fit my head. Uh, I purchased on Amazon some part of cosplay stuff uh, to go around. Um, then, yeah, it it's fine, perfectly fine. Uh, I'm very happy with the result. Um, I'm sorry as I haven't been able to stream online as the last part because I finished this helmet something like a few hours before taking the plane for Los Angeles. Then, as you can see, the result. Sorry, there is some seams on top here because, um, as you remember, I can remove the front parts. Uh, there is some magnet inside. You may not see really see uh, both parts. It's quickly done, to be honest, but uh, I'm very, very happy with the result. Uh, the paint job has been also very quick. Uh, it was some spray can, paint, paint cans uh, that I used and some silver uh, paint to do uh, all the scratch. I had no time to do um, some um, extra sanding. Then you may not see that in the video, but there is some areas where you see some seams. Um, especially there and there, uh, there is a seams between the three parts on the top. Uh, you see it's better visible that way. It's not that visible, I mean, I know where they are. Um, I did some sanding, I, I put some putty, like I, I presented in the last video, but even by sanding it's not visible, I mean, it's not perfect, but when you are wearing that, it's not that visible at all. Um, again, the color I did for this silver color is not reflective enough, it's not chrome enough, uh, which is uh, one of the problems. And during my trip to Los Angeles, uh, I slight I mean, I, I broke some magnets myself and someone as well, I don't know who, uh, uh, tried to, I don't know, uh, uh, remove the front part. Let me just do it like that you will see the result okay this is the front part you see some magnets on top and the other parts i had to do that of course because of um traveling with the helmet and putting that in my luggage which has been not that easy but as you can see this is done uh you can see right now in the camera that i can see through which is perfect I'm a little bit in the dark, but it's fine. Um, it just smells the paint, the glue, and uh, and uh, and the resin a little bit. But yeah, no. To be honest, I'm very very happy with that. Let me just drop that. Uh, let me just show you some photos. Okay, then this is one of the photos during the summit. Uh, in the background, you can see uh, Joseph Joss helmet, which was also, in fact, not only 3D printed, but uh, uh, molded and painted. Sorry, I don't have a photo right now. Then my helmet. Uh, you see, I've been able to have some, um, some shots. And it was uh, Electronic Arts, the EA motif presentation about Battlefront 2. Uh, then with my helmet uh, on stage, uh, which has been uh, very fun. Anyway, let me just go back to one extra detail about the cost, the final cost of this helmet. Um, you remember in the last video I explained a little bit about the cost. Sorry, this is in French. Um, but the total printing was still the same, but I had to, to, to buy more, uh, to, to replace my IPA, um, buying more paints, uh, paint, painting, sorry, um, which was more expensive than I was expecting, some glues and mixed stuff. And then the total cost is 415 euros, which is approximately based on the uh, exchange rate, 488 dollars, US dollar. Then it's quite expensive at the end. Um, but I, I did some researches and I finally found um, the helmet I was using as a reference, which is coming from the Anovos company, which has an official license, and they are um, building 
quite high quality uh, props um, and cosplay items and you see this helmet is $700 uh, which is quite expensive and I in fact I found this item by watching um, one of the let me just because I'm always uh, uh, killing his name uh, Adam Savage uh, sorry uh, videos let me just uh, share in the comment of the video uh, where did it come from and then he's sharing the name of this company this is where I found that um, about these helmets then if you are really a fan and you have the material and the skills then of course I didn't include the time uh, it took for me the, the, uh, the human time let's say uh, but it's still less expensive in a way and on top of that for me it's way more enjoyable to do your own uh, your own helmets um, and you see it was for me a great experience cost experience but great experience now of course I need to build um, the lightsaber I'm waiting in fact uh, uh, next Star Wars the last Jedi uh, because I really want to uh, see what the new one will looks like um, because uh, you, I don't know if you, you you saw the new trailer the latest trailer uh, the new lightsaber the kind of black protection it's not as um, used as uh, the original one from the um, the Force Awakened. Then I will see, but I will probably do my own uh, lightsaber, and I'm still thinking about how I do the blade because I don't want to do this kind of plastic cheap blade. Um, but so many unknown anyway i think i will watch the movie uh with my kids and <laughs> by wearing these helmets and uh, and perhaps perhaps doing this kind of cosplay stuff i can't afford the full cosplay because if this is way too expensive i think this is 1200 dollars um for the helmet and the full cosplay uh, on this website let me just browse quickly um let me see uh it was around and uh, yeah, uh, no, this is oh, sorry, no, this is a full one. You see, this one, yes, 102,000, um, oh, sorry, 1,200, sorry, dollars for uh, the full set, which is from what I saw uh, in the video, in the link, uh, in the description link, um, is quite impressive in terms of quality. But okay, I'm a huge Star Wars fan, but I prefer keeping this money by buying more resin and doing my own cosplay of figurines or, or my um, Star Wars Destroyer uh, that I will continue very soon. Anyway, uh, it was very short video just to show you the end result of this helmet to see that you can switch from the brush from the digital world to the real world thanks to 3D printing and by doing your own stuff I mean this is of course a great way to do to do things uh, it can be improved of course if I didn't have to you do things in, in some ways I will do it in other ways I learned quite a lot uh, by doing this helmet to be honest um, to work better also with the life boolean which has been very helpful the Z modeler doing retopology uh, and doing this assembly part but all this part at the end uh, was kind of tricky um, because of the tolerance and some stuff that you uh, let me just go back to the helmet you see this helmet you see there is uh, this part here um, which connects and there is a small gap you don't really see it in the video let me try to find some angle you see like that there is just a little bit of gap and this one was based because of the um, uh, the, when the resin is printing there is some um, some shrinkage and it was a little bit of shrinkage here and uh, I tried to glue it but since the resin is quite thick it it gives more strength to this shape like it is right now and trying to bend is almost impossible and I should try to find some better glue than the super glue but um, yeah but anyway, I'm very glad to have done that in uh, with the form two uh, through SLA printing and not FDM because, like I said, I had no time. I was very short in terms of time. I had also some personal issue on top of that. But uh, it was very easy to send, very easy to paint, very easy to clean, uh, and it fit. 
it ticked out almost perfectly for it all of the part then I'm very happy. Anyway, uh, see you soon for um, some extra ZBrush live stream. I don't know yet right now what I will do. I have multiple ideas in mind, but I don't know yet. Uh, perhaps I will do some of them in French also for the French public. Anyway, thank you very much and see you soon for other videos of uh, ZBrush. Bye bye.